Hello, I am Vishnu. In this video, I will show how to retrieve the Windows license key from your computer and reinstall Windows 11 using 100% free tools. This is useful when you are upgrading Windows. Microsoft has announced that it is ending support for Windows 10, meaning you will not get any updates. So there is no way but to upgrade to Windows 11. Problem is that not all computers meet the minimum requirements of Windows 11, no matter how powerful they are. Canley's research has predicted that close to a quarter billion PCs will be discarded and many of them will go into landfills. Clearly, this can be avoided and your PC need not end up in trash. There is a way to bypass the minimum requirements of Windows 11 and install it on any computer. I will demonstrate this in detail. If you use Windows 11 already, this info is still useful to you. At some point of time, you might want to bring back the computer to its original speed. You see, over a period of time, we install many applications on the PC. Some of them run as services and slow down the PC significantly. You can try uninstalling, but many third-party Windows applications do not uninstall completely. They leave traces in the file system, registry or the cache. When you find that the PC is terribly slow, more often it is better to clean reinstall the OS rather than try to fix it by installing more tools. Let's get into the process now. First up, you need to find the Windows product key. This is also referred to as license key or activation key. Back in the day, PCs had a sticker with a printed product key. But now most of the licenses are digital and you need to find the key. You can do it by using a few simple commands. I will include these commands in the description, but watch the video thoroughly to see which process suits you best. Type CMD in the search bar of your computer and open the command prompt. Since this is about key retrieval, you need to open it as administrator. Using the Windows Management Instrumentation command, shortly known as WMIC, you can fetch the key. Note down the key, you will need this later. If that did not show the key, you have to use a different process to retrieve it. Type PowerShell in the search bar and open it as administrator. Use the PowerShell command to print the key. Both the commands mentioned above will try to retrieve the key from the BIOS or UEFI firmware of the computer. But if the key is not in UEFI, the commands cannot show it. In that case, you can find the product key in Windows registry. Type REG edit in the search box and open it. Expand H key local machine software Microsoft Windows NT current version software protection platform and you will find the key in backup product key default. Write down the key or take a picture of the screen with your mobile phone or take a screenshot and email it to yourself. Either way, always backup your product key. A fresh retail license is expensive and if the computer crashes or the BIOS fails, you can set the computer back to normal without needing to buy Windows license again. The product key you just recovered will work with both Windows 10 and Windows 11, except for enterprise licenses. Since you have the key now, you can proceed with reinstallation. You may ask, why not use the recovery partition to reinstall Windows? Recovery partitions are created by manufacturers at the time of factory installs. Quite often, these are older versions of Windows and will take plenty of time to upgrade. Besides, they sometimes have annoying bloatware. Performing a clean install is the best way forward. It will also give you the control over the partition sizes if you want to split the disk. First up, you need to create the Windows installation disk. You can use a USB flash drive to create one. 8 GB or more will do fine. Just remember that the flash drive will be erased completely. Back up the data if you have to. You need the Windows installation ISO and it is available for free at Microsoft. In your browser, search for Windows 11 download. Microsoft provides a media creation tool 
but downloading the ISO is a better option. I will tell you later why it is. You need one more application to write the ISO image to a flash drive called Rufus. It is a free tool that can create bootable installation disks. Besides, Rufus can make the disk compatible with both legacy BIOS and UEFI. Download Rufus, insert your USB flash drive into a USB slot, open Rufus, choose the flash drive as boot device, click select and choose the Windows 11 ISO file that you downloaded. If you want it to be compatible with older BIOS, set the partition scheme as MBR. Click start. Rufus will show you the customization options for the installation. You can remove minimum requirements, disable data collection and create a local account with your preferred username. Of late, Windows 11 does not allow you to create offline accounts. With Rufus, you can still create an offline account. As I mentioned earlier, all those features of Rufus, especially the ability to remove the minimum requirements of Windows 11 easily, are exactly why you need Rufus. Your PC will get a new lease of life on your desk instead of ending up in a landfill. Proceed and Rufus will create the bootable Windows installation disk. Once Rufus says ready, you're good to go. If you have to back up the files from your computer, it is now or never. Connect an external hard disk and copy all your data into it. Files, folders, browser bookmarks, anything that you think is important. You can choose to back up everything to a cloud drive too, but do it because clean reinstalling windows will leave your computer blank. Restart your PC and get into the BIOS. It is either the F2 key or the delete key on most models. Set your first boot device as the USB flash drive. Save and exit the BIOS. You will boot into Windows installation. The installation process is straightforward. Also, you have already set a few options in Rufus earlier, which will make it even easier. Select your language, time format, and the keyboard input method, which is usually US. Click install now and accept the license terms. Select customized installation. Select the disk you wish to install the OS to. Create the partitions as you need and click next. Depending upon the speed of your computer, Windows will take time to install everything. Once it reboots, get into the BIOS and change the boot device to the new disk. Windows will set up things, reboot a few more times and bring you to a screen asking you to connect to the network. If you connect to the network, Windows will insist on creating an online account. So just choose, I don't have internet and continue with limited setup. Having one local account at least will help you with privacy. It can also help you recover your data in the worst possible situations. You can create as many online accounts as you want later. Give it a few more minutes and you will see the home screen. Restart the computer and you will be asked to set a password for the local account. Once done, you can connect to the network, be it LAN or Wi-Fi. Type activation settings in the search box and open it. If your license key is in UEFI, Windows will activate automatically. If not, it will ask you to input the product key. You have already retrieved this earlier. Just feed it in and you are good to go. Update the computer thoroughly before transferring your data back in. This will ensure Windows security is fully up to the mark before any new data can affect it. Windows is prone to viruses. I will explain a simple way of how to recover your data in case of a virus infection. Subscribe if you want to be notified about that video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I will be happy to help with the answers. Thanks for your time. This is Arjun and Vishnu and we wish you happy computing.